Greetings, friends. My name is Pavel Stelmo, and now we will dive into the top news of this day. The representative of the U.S. Department of State, Matthew Miller, said that the supply of F-16 aircraft to Ukraine is a priority. The process will be started in the coming months. However, as stated by the spokesman of the U.S. Ministry of Defense, General Patrick Ryder, the F-16s will not be relevant for the future counteroffensive. He also confirmed that training of Ukrainian pilots will take place outside of Ukraine in Europe, and the details of this plan are currently being worked out. Meanwhile, the Polish government confirmed information about the start of training of Ukrainian pilots on F-16 aircraft in Poland. In general, Ukrainian armed forces as a whole are moving to NATO standards. We are gradually becoming stronger than the enemy and closer to our partners. Western combat aircraft will become an integral part of the air defense system, together with the already provided Western air defense systems. This is how we will repel Russian terrorist air attacks. I thank you, dear leaders who helped Ukraine with air defense. Together we've saved thousands and thousands of lives from Russian missiles. I am also grateful for the decision to train our pilots on modern fighter aircrafts. The air shield can only be complete when ground-based air defense systems are complemented by modern aircraft in the air. We are now on the path to eliminating the capability gap. When our pilots know the F-16 and when these aircrafts appear in our skies, it will matter not only for Ukraine. This will be a historic moment for the entire security architecture in Europe and the world. Volodymyr Zelensky, president of Ukraine, in speech at the session of the G7 summit and Ukraine. The partners recognize that Ukrainian pilots are capable of learning the F-16 in record time, so the planes will be over the battlefield already this year. The Kremlin's threats are unable to block the supply of new types of weapons to Ukraine. So Russian propaganda is traditionally left to King wins its audience, that these weapons are ineffective. After all, the whole world can see how effective Western weapons can be in the hands of skilled Ukrainian soldiers. Thanks to HIMARS, we were able to liberate Kherson. Thanks to storm shadow projectiles, dozens of command centers and ammunition depots have already been destroyed. And thanks to the Patriot systems, the Ukrainians proved that the most of the Russian bravado about its military equipment is just empty words. For example, Kinjals are air ballistics, but not hypersonic missiles, and they can be shot down by modern Western air defense systems. It was hit twice in May, so any weapon supply allows to make tests in real time and for further improvement. The self-proclaimed president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, visited Moscow again, where he is meeting with Putin again this time at the Eurasian Economic Forum. As Lukashenko stated, the politicians will meet to discuss problems in relations that should not exist at all. He added that he usually meets with Putin not to look at each other, although that is also important, because in his opinion the moods of the presidents are very important. But it is interesting that Lukashenko made this statement on Monday, when there were no military operations in the Belgorod region of Russia. And now the conversation can be completely different. After all, Russians who oppose Putin's regime on the territory of Russia is an incident that will have its own consequences. Moreover, the weapons of the Russian volunteer fighters from the Russian volunteer corps and the Freedom of Russia Legion are trophies, because it has long been known that the army of the occupier is the largest supplier of equipment to Ukraine. So why can't the Russian volunteer formations capture the same tanks and repair them? And Lukashenko now has an additional element of fear, because there are many more Belarusian volunteers fighting against the Russian army than entered the territory of the Belgorod region. Therefore, the negotiations will be very difficult for both Putin and Lukashenko, especially since the Belarusian self-proclaimed president has not been feeling well lately. He hardly appeared in public, and at the parade in Moscow on May 9th he looked sickly and the Belarusian dictator himself admitted that he was ill.
If someone thinks that I was going to die, calm down. Take it easy. This is nothing more than idle reasoning in instant messages and telegram channels. Adenovirus or what was there? Adenovirus. It has been treated for three days, but since I didn't have the opportunity to be treated, as I was needed to go to Moscow, then to Leningrad, then to Subotniks, then to Grodno, you put me on the square to hug these girls, then to Gomel, all this has accumulated. I'm not going to die. You will suffer with me for a very long time. And here a logical question arises. Who will suffer with Lukashenko? Because the Ukrainians are also dissatisfied with him as columns of military equipment was going to Kyiv from the territory of Belarus. And the people of Belarus are dissatisfied with their self-proclaimed president too. Just remember the protests in August 2020. And in Moscow is dissatisfied with Lukashenko because nowadays he helps the Russian army less and less. Therefore, there is still a question of who will want to depose the Russian president first, the Belarusian people or the Kremlin. Last week, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky spoke at the Arab League summit in Jeddah. The invitation of the President of Ukraine to the summit of the League of Arab States is unprecedented in the history of the organization. The Arab countries recognized the growth of Ukraine's agency in the world. Ukraine got the opportunity to address the leaders of the Arab world directly and successfully took advantage of this opportunity. Kyiv intercepts Moscow anti-colonial rhetoric when explaining the essence of this war. It is precisely Russia that behaves as a colonial empire in Ukraine. Look at how much suffering the long-term wars have brought to Libya, Syria, Yemen. How many lives have been wasted by years of fighting in Sudan and Somalia, in Iraq and Afghanistan. Everyone who adds to suffering by his new aggressions, everyone who sows enmity, everyone who wants to bring back the old days of invading empires that didn't count with the will of independent nations. Every aggressor goes against the world and will be caused by the people. In addition to his speech at the Arab League summit, Zelensky met with the Crown Prince, Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud. The head of state noted the successful participation of Saudi Arabia in the return of 10 foreign prisoners of war from Russian captivity and expressed interest in continuing joint efforts to free the prisoners. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia confirmed his interest in investing in Ukraine and restoring our state. Volodymyr Zelensky also held meetings with the heads of delegations of the United Arab Emirates, the Sultanate of Oman and the state of Kuwait. The participants of the meeting discussed issues of global food security and the work of the Black Sea Grain Initiative. The parties agreed on the exchange of delegations to achieve concrete results and cooperation. The president of Ukraine also held a meeting with the prime minister of Iraq, Muhammad Shaya Sabar al-Sudani. Volodymyr Zelensky expressed special thanks to Iraq for supporting Ukraine within international organizations, in particular for supporting the resolutions of the UN General Assembly. Ukraine plays an important role for food security in the Middle East and also counts on Arab countries to expand the coalition against Russian aggression. So, as we can see, Ukrainian positions in the Middle East are becoming stronger. Russian positions are weakening because Moscow is not able to demonstrate either its own rightness or its military superiority in the war. That concludes our today's video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for future videos. Subscribe to UATV English and goodbye.